ten. For some reason, I'm in the passenger seat. Let's see what that's about. But let's make sure they start off good, man. All right, so it's about eight forty. I haven't driven yet. I don't know why he got up at four in the morning when and when we had to drive an hour and a half and the load didn't have to be there until eight. But for some reason he woke up at four in the morning and started driving. And <laughs> we kind of fell asleep. And he just been driving. I'm 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 really I'm kind of fed up at this point. Cause what am I he you know, I don't know. I should be why am I not driving? You know what I'm saying? Just kind of fed up with not being. It's, this is going on three days of me not really driving. The first two days were because the first two days were because um, on the lows. And today, I don't know what the I don't know what he's doing. Like I'm here to I'm here training. Nate. Why are you driving? I don't get it. But I'm about I'm about fed up. I, I I don't know how I'm gonna handle this right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm just kind of just wasting time. Three days straight, I haven't driven. That's I'm, I I gotta have a certain amount of hours in order to get by myself. This is the third day straight. I haven't driven much. The first two days, yesterday and the day before yesterday. The day before yesterday, I drove like three hours. After that, I, 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 like another three hours again. Today, I, I drove zero hours. Even though it's only eight in the morning, I have drove driven zero hours. So, I don't know how I'm going to handle it. I don't know what kind of phone call I'm going to make. I don't know if this means I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just ask for a, a different trainer or just... just be done all together with this situation and just try to find something else because I, I don't know. We're going to see, man. I'll let y'all know. The only thing I can think of about why he decided to drive is because he thought I would be tired. We went to sleep at the same time. We got done driving at like 11. <laughs> and he, he said something about I might be tired or something, but you got, you did the same thing I did. Um, Plus, if it, if I was by myself, I would have had to do it. You know what I'm saying? And um, I think the issue is he do too many things without explaining. It. You know, like not even just in this situation, but in different things. Like he'll say, "Get over in this lane," but won't even explain. I had to say, I, I had to start saying why. Oh, because this lane ends, and you don't do stuff. You don't do stuff like that. You you got to explain. Hey, get over in this lane, cause. This lane going to end and, you know, blah, 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 whatever. He do too many things without explaining it. You know what I'm saying? And um, I, in this situation, he still hasn't explained why I haven't drove yet. He said something about I had three hours left, but the drive was an hour and a half. So what did, what did me having three hours have to do with an hour and a half drive? I got the time for it. So... He said, we're going to have to wait till your thing start over or whatever. <sighs> I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Hopefully, it's all work out. You know, I don't I don't want to keep starting over. You know what I'm saying? Um, I like, you know, I like the idea of Swift and I like the idea of what they can offer. But my beginning process has been, it's not being good from the late start to the, the mishaps with orientation, to the mishaps with just a bunch of different things. And now I got these things. Like, I ain't been, I ain't drove in three days. And, like, I have a family. I know truck ain't going to deal with, but see, when, I, when I'm when i on a truck by myself, I can manage these things properly. I don't know what he's doing, how he's picking the loads, or how he deciding when to wake up, how I'm going off of everything he doing. Well, if I have, that's why I'm trying to hurry up and get to my own truck. That way I can manage my own time. You know what I'm saying? Manage the loads that I want. Look at what's going on. Look at a load and say, yeah, I want that load. No, nah, I want that load because it'll line me up to do this, this. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
But sitting for three days, that's just three days I'm away from my family and I'm not gaining the hours that I need to get on the road by myself. And I'm thinking, honestly, I might just tell them I'm going to go home for a little bit and then try to come back. You know, I was, I've been thinking about that idea, too, like, just say, you know, I got a family emergency, go home for a little bit, and then come back until, you know, maybe get a new trainer and just, I don't know, just let them know I'm serious, man. This is, it's a lot of just things that are just going not the way I want. I mean, I'm, I'm having a good, a, a all right day, you know, it's just. I'm just kind of venting a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I guess I'm in the projects of Maryland, Baltimore. I don't think it's the projects, but it's a little neighborhood. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, it is definitely a project. They got the alleys and everything. Seeing the real Baltimore. Officially in Baltimore. Philly cheese steak from Baltimore. Look at look at look at the plate. It take up about 65-70 percent. Look at my hand in comparison to this thing. Yeah, this thing big. Open them up. Hold it on my yacht. Your paper. Oh, falls out of there. Yeah, that thing. That thing thing. Hey, All right, so we're in Baltimore. Still haven't driven yet, but I know I was kind of a little flustered. You know, I'm still trying to get used to that trucker life. It's just been, you know, tough to deal with, you know, with my kids. You know, I just been thinking about my kids and stuff like that. But uh, we did get a load for New York and then from New York to Texas. So what that means for me is that I get to make up a lot of those that driving time, a lot of driving, a lot of driving, a lot of hours. So I get to see New York for the first time. And then uh, I've been to Texas before when the floods hit uh, Houston. I helped with relief for those people, but I've never been to the part of Texas. So. I'm trying to, you know, just keep my composure and, you know, just understand that this comes with the, the territory of trucking, you know. Um, we'll see how this goes. I'm about to go to a terminal, so I'll give y'all a tour of the, the terminal we're going to. I think it's a terminal in Baltimore. I'm not sure. Um, but we're about to go to a terminal and take showers. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm going to be real. The way we've been, the way things been happening, we haven't taken a shower in like two and a half days because we just, the way things worked out, we've been able to do like bird baths and stuff. So don't judge me. Uh, but, uh, so we're going to go take a shower and life of a trucker, I guess. Still waiting in Baltimore. Uh, I think I'm finna take a nap, man. Seems like we're going to be a lot of waiting. Uh, I'll check back in here with y'all a little later. Uh, just woke up from my nap. It's 5 o'clock. Still at this place. Third day in a row. Oh, we just been sitting. Damn. Man. I don't know. That's life of a trucker, I guess. Six o'clock. Uh, I'm a jog. This this facility is very big. Like you can probably see how big it is once this truck move. Plenty of space for me to get a nice jog in. So I'm gonna go for a jog, man. Still waiting. This is kind of frustrating. I ain't gonna lie, it's kind of frustrating. But. Yeah, what it is. I'll let y'all know how my job go, I guess. Finally, after almost 12 hours of sitting here, our load is ready. It's almost 8 o'clock. We got here at 8 o'clock. It's 
finally ready. I'm about to do my pre-trip. Drive for the first time today. That's how we all right, <clears throat> so I'm at a Swift Transportation uh, Terminal in Virginia. You know, as you know, we sat at a place pretty much all day. Again, we didn't get on the road till about, what time did they have us ready? Probably, I don't know, 10 or whatever. I'm in the bathroom, about to take a shower. It's one in the morning right now. We finally got to Virginia. So I figured I'd do my last video for day 10. Um, I drove three hours today. So after we got our load at like nine, we drove till about 12.30 midnight. Um, it hasn't been going good, I ain't gonna lie. The last three days haven't been going good. Um, I think what's about to happen is I'm gonna stay at the terminal, let him leave in the morning, and just, I don't know, after that, probably get another, I don't know. But uh, today was just another one of those days. It was just, like I said, I just haven't been driving much. Um, I made some mistakes today. Well, in the beginning of the drive, I missed two exits. So I had to stop and get back over. Um, It was a night drive. Still trying to get used to reading the signs and stuff like that. It was just those, it was two particular back to back uh, exits that was just weird. Um, you know, sitting in the place for like 11 hours. I mean, uh, like, yeah, like 11, 12 hours. And uh, it got to me, you know. I think I need a good, fresh restart. So, probably just stay to the terminal over the weekend until they find me something different. Uh, That's all I can do. I forgot I had a video on it. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna see how it goes and try to give me some good rest. I ain't got too much today for you as far as a wrap up. There was nothing really going on today. Um, finally get to take a shower. You know, trying to figure out this is really what I want to do. You know, being away from my family. Progress is slowing down. Trucking industry is kind of not what I, there's a lot going on right now. A lot of process going on, low freight, stuff like that. There's just a lot going on right now. I'm just trying to figure out what the future is looking like. So just be patient with me. We're going to see how it goes, you know. But uh, day 10.